Hello, ladies and gentlemen. A tropical storm which has killed 22 people in Central America, that's Nate, is forecast to strengthen into a hurricane that could affect the U.S. Gulf Coast later this weekend. Now, hurricane and storm surge watches have already been issued for the coastline from Morgan City, Louisiana to the Alabama-Mississippi border an area that includes New Orleans. Now, officials in New Orleans have yet to call for any evacuations, but preparations for landfall were already well underway Thursday. On the current track, Nate is expected to make landfall at about 1 a.m. on Sunday, just south or east of New Orleans as a Category 1 hurricane with winds around 80 miles per hour. Now, as much as a foot of rain could fall in parts of Mississippi and Louisiana with storm surge of 4 to 8 feet, that's 4 to 8 feet along the coast, not 48 feet, folks. Now, maximum sustained winds had strengthened to 45 miles per hour, um, this storm, of course, will get stronger as it crosses uh, the Gulf of Mexico and uh, the resort cities in Mexico of Cancun and Cozumel will feel the full brunt of the storm. Now, Nate could reach hurricane status as early as Saturday afternoon while entering the Gulf of Mexico and its trajectory has it on track to make landfall somewhere between New Orleans, Louisiana and Mobile, Alabama on Saturday night or Sunday morning as a weak Category 1 storm, but that storm track could change. It's a, again, it could change. I don't know uh, why it would change, but it'll change <laughs> evidently, possibly, folks. Anyway, um, that's the latest on Nate. I'll leave you a link to that, folks, so you can have a look at that map. And when it comes to links, please check out the link to my new fiction book, Fortress, A Wayfarer Story. That link, as well as a link to a free read of Chapter 1, which is called Fake News, they are down in the description area below this video. Now, um, Fortress is basically a story about so much of what you see and what you don't see going on in America right now. The machinations of the deep state. It's got the alternative media in it. It's got so, so many elements of, of this strange time in which we are living in. And you can read chapter one for free on my website, walkthetowpath.com. There's also a link down there to uh, some music of mine, too. So, some things to check out for you folks. And I would appreciate if you did so. Um, please uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please give it a share if you feel so led, folks. But most importantly of all, do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is Jim signing off. God bless you, and I will see you soon.